we all used to grow and produce, hunt fish, gather our own food. And you know, in the last couple hundred years, I'd say we've gotten away from that. 95% of food is flown into urban Alaska. But if you go to rural Alaska, there is a much larger dependence on wild foods. We have to get better at food security. We have to get better at growing a food source that we have more control over. Food sovereignty is the right to healthy and culturally appropriate foods grown in an ecologically and sustainable manner. So I know that some people's zucchinis have been having a hard time this year. So it's good to see that we've got plentiful. A lot of the food conversation in Alaska is kind of divided. It's either traditional food subsistence rights or agriculture. And we're trying to bridge that gap to show people how we can have food security from conventional methods and through agriculture practices. So uh, it was sponsored by the Intertribal Agriculture Council. Eva got in contact with them and got them to talk with the local tribe and use this as a host site for their project. They do this in a, a few states. Agriculture, you know, that's something you need to do hands-on. Cutting fish, it's something you need to do hands-on. So when things began to produce and do well, it's a sign that we can do this. Will it immediately result in better food sovereignty? Probably not right away, but we have to start building those relationships and putting models and frameworks forward that might actually work for us. Through the Land Back Movement, we were able to purchase just over 41 acres of land. And what we're gonna do is we're going to model indigenous land stewardship, but also indigenous agriculture to others across Alaska. It's fortunate in a way that we started this garden at the same time as the ag land sale was announced, because we could kind of show that it can be done in a more grassroots way and in a more community-based way. We want to have people come and learn so that they can go back to their community and start something like that. Or if they're already doing it, here are some more resources to make it stronger and more sustainable. When you put love into something, you put work into it, and notice when it needs a little help, it's gonna grow.